I've often thought that I don't have ideas, that they have me. And this is an example of it. This is my recent work, and I'm still working on it, but I wanted to share it with you, of this story of the mirrors, of infinite refraction and reflection, because this is coming up in context with the chamber, the room that houses my painting, Mothership Revelations in Pink. And her story was the question of the orbs, of atoms, of the story that we are composed of infinite possibilities. And that the mirrors then started to ask the question of reflection and also to indicate this, this sense that the, the hieroglyph is teaching more and more about primary source, that we are the source, a bit like an actor realizing that he is or she is the role that she is playing, he is playing in the play. And there's a freedom to recognize that all of the different qualities are as these mirrors, they're reflected infinitely. And maybe that's the greater appreciation of mothership. She says, I love all of my children. I'm the knowledge of your atoms. There are no evil atoms. If you don't like your stories, tell better stories. But begin with the story you tell yourself about who you think you are. So maybe in short, the mirrors that show this infinite refraction, this world of orbs and energy and light, are actually pointing back at us and saying, you, I, are the primary source. One's life is the primary source and it's refracted infinitely into all these different points of view and perspectives. But it's time that we pull back and trust where we live, trust the truth that we are woven of infinite possibility, of infinite atoms, but that we are whole and holy. And I like that story better. There's nothing to prove, just to live. Thanks. We'll see where the mirrors take us.